Deep North is going to be 1.0. News in the world of Valheim. Let's go. Iron Gate programmer Jonathan and community manager Josephine sat down for a panel discussion with The Spill today. I'll include the link below if y'all want to watch the entire stream with many dev companies included. I wanted to give y'all a chance to hear some clips of the devs saying in their own words what their thoughts are and what the plans are about some specific things. So I've pulled out some clips of some of their answers. Looking at what Deep North being 1.0, which was stated, actually means, how difficult the Deep North is going to be in relation to Ashlands, achievements, mod support, some details I think you'll find interesting. And I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Deep North is going to be 1.0, uh, obviously, and uh, and there's also going to be a whole lot of uh, like a lot of other stuff that we're yeah. going to try to get in there. So besides the actual biome, there's definitely a lot of other stuff that we're working on. Mm -hmm. That's going to try to get that in there too. For Deep North, we're we're going for a little bit different, uh, tone it down a little bit, try to make it nice and cozy again. Uh, one of the things that we had is the uh, the idea of uh, making a Christmas card. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely going to be difficult. Uh, don't get us wrong there. There's going to be hard parts, but it's probably a little bit more mm. laid back, so you can relax a little bit more in the game. A final breather before the very end of the game. Yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, there's it's there's... still an endgame biome, very much. So. Yeah. 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 There will be a lot of difficult monsters and and, and uh, boss definitely for that. So. Nice. Hope, hopefully, it will feel like a 1.0, like not just like oh another biome, and by the way, it's mm. also done. We do we do have some cool things that we're going to try to get in there. We're going to look through. Uh, the, the rest of the game for a bit, add, like not change too much because it's definitely a working recipe, mm. but, but try to add a little bit of spice here and there uh, for, for the rest of the game as well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean, we're still in, in a pre-production, very soon going over to main full production mm. on it. So, so there's been a lot of different ideas, there's different ways to go, and uh, we're definitely not there on all those points yet. So. And that's also why we haven't shared anything like yeah. publicly, like any, any visuals from the Deep North yet, because it is very much pre-production and we don't want to... We don't want to show something that would end up not getting into the game since it's very much uh, uh, still in the design phase. But there's also other things like like something that a lot of people ask for, like achievements and, mm. and possibly mod support and things like that that go into that are like kind of meta game parts of it, but that are also needed for for the pla like Xbox and stuff. Mm. Uh, definitely coming to Steam then as well. Yeah. That being said. I mean, 1.2 is 1.0. As you guys know, satisfactory. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't necessarily mean that the, that that that's all it's of the it. End of but, it no. yeah. but then then we at least feel done with the base game, the the original experience. So. Yeah, uh, I think it, it is very much that <laughs> that the Ashlands is uh, very much um, a ramp up in difficulty, and um, we want again to have um, the, the Deep North not to be an easy biome, but to um, still have those like calm moments that you can get to. Like we said, the um, yeah. uh, the. Uh, some parts of deep, the deep north will feel kind of like a christmas card like you can already see now like in the in the placeholder that you can see on the b-roll now mm. uh, it is kind of uh, yeah uh, trees and snow and kind of a calm landscape and it's this is still from the um the deep north that you can see as a placeholder in the in the game right now but it's still gonna have some of that feeling if uh, a lot more fleshed out yeah and i think one of the things on difficulty there i was thinking about mm. before was like having a bit of an asymmetrical difficulty mm. curve so so the game is not just constantly becoming harder yeah. and more grindier in every single biome where yeah of course the step from let's say mistlands to ashlands is definitely uh a step up in difficulty mm. and you're as a lot of people have noticed you get formed a lot by enemies but that doesn't mean that it's going to be like another step up from that mm. more of a parallel step yeah in difficulty, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, difficult uh, in another way. Yeah. yeah, there are like hopes. I think of having something new for most biomes. Like not maybe yeah. nothing major, but at least something everywhere, so that there will be a value in replaying the game from the start, and not just going into um, play deep north, but to actually start the game over uh, from like the very beginning. Uh, since it's going to be the 1.0 game, that's going to be like a whole new experience hopefully. Yeah, I mean both adding a few things, tweaking a few things, like like going over the biomes, like what feedback have we had mm -hmm. during like the whole uh, development process because even though we're, we always want to work on the next thing, people are still like, oh, when are you going to fix this in this old biome? And, and there's definitely some thoughts on like... We have a whole icebox. Yeah, <laughs> a very wanna... big icebox. <laughs> are you going to add achievements to the game? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will. What we about will. achievements? Achievement yeah. is definitely yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. on there. So. They're not just going to be there, we're hopefully going to make them mm -hmm. good fairly balanced as well. Uh, yeah. Mod support. Yeah, I mean it's it's we uh, like we have a ton of mods. I think I think the modding community is great. We don't have like official mod support yet because that would add a lot of development the, time the for version us. Version 
So it's definitely something we're talking about that we want to have better mod support. Like to what extent? I don't want to promise anything there, but mm -hmm. but like two or or like either two one point or maybe a bit after there. I think looking at better mod support is something that we want to we want to do. I think. Is there going to be like a full on ending to the game or? Yeah, there's going to definitely be an ending to the game. So cool. the game will be like you will play be able to play from start to finish. There's going to be an ending. It's going to be cool. Uh, you will still have the opportunity yeah. to like stay and work on your base that you've spent many hours on, but you will also be able to have that experience of starting the game, playing the game, finishing the game, and getting that satisfying uh, feeling yeah. to, to completing your, your big quest. Yeah, gotcha. So Iron Gate is definitely in the mindset of heading towards 1.0. They've clearly stated that Deep North is going to be the final biome. There will not be a separate oceans biome. However, they have said that they're going to go back and add things everywhere, and they've included oceans in that. I'm interested in this concept that they have that the Deep North is not going to be just another, the next hardest biome, but it's going to be more of a parallel in difficulty and with some respite included in there as well. That goes in line with their whole asymmetrical difficulty aspect of not having all the weapons be symmetrical for every biome and such. It does raise the question for me, if the Deep North is going to be the final biome, where is the final battle going to be? Because there is a distinct ending to the game, even if you can stay and play in the world, where's that final battle gonna happen? I have some interesting news information coming up next about some of the specific dishes and buffs that are going to be coming out with the Bog Witch update. Keep your eye out for that. Subscribe for more Valheim. Until next time, happy gaming.